In the old days in academia, people would always talk about competition, and you were competing to get that paper out. A good friend and mentor of mine says, well, it's 2019, collaboration is new competition. Because right now, you're not going to solve problems by competing against one another, because you only get one little view from over here and one little view from over here. But if you work together, you get the whole picture. My grandmother needed an operation down in Peru. You start to think, oh, I wonder if I could bring them to my hospital, because I know these surgeons and I know they're going to do a good job. But that's not possible. So then the thought occurred to me and several of my colleagues, what if you could take that expertise and put it in a box and then send that box around to share the knowledge that's been accumulated by multiple surgeons over time? It's like having a crowd full of the world's expert surgeons standing behind you and saying, yeah, keep going, you're doing the right thing and you're doing what's right for this patient. It was really a matter of just constantly knocking on doors to try to find who is willing to help with this problem and who is interested in solving this. One of the things that had initially held me back a little bit was a fear that people would say no, that people would close the door. And what I have found is that it's been the exact opposite. So for anybody that's thinking about translating their idea into action, the best advice that I could give is just start the process. And what you'll find is that the obstacles that seemed insurmountable will slowly, slowly start to get lower and lower as you build up momentum and as you bring in other people and collaborators to help you.